is going on guys? Welcome back to the Swill Each channel, man. So we got Popeyes, and we're gonna try these brand new Voodoo Tenders, which is $5, but that's not what the menu said. It didn't say $5, but we'll get into that shortly. All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Swill Each channel, guys. All right, so we made it back from good old Popeyes. Pretty excited about what we got, guys. I've heard so many good things about these Voodoo trip, uh, strips, but we're gonna find out for real if it's, you know, if it's, uh, what is that? Um, Spicy? No, 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 not spicy. Just spew, spew or chew, chew oh, or spew, spew or chew. Let's we'll see if it's Split. worth it or not. Yeah. If it's good or not. So yeah, we're gonna show you guys exactly what what is inside the good old box. Now they didn't really give me any options or anything like that as far as oh you want the combo. I didn't ask for a combo. I just wanted the strip by themselves. This is the big old nice awesome Popeyes box. You guys can see that. Got the good old yum 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 little chomp chomp box yum, action yum. right here. Oh snap. Look like they gave us an extra biscuit or something. We got all the, we got this, what we get, six strips? Well, um, five. We got the five strips. So it comes in three and five. All right, so I don't have the receipt. I think it's like $6 for, I forget, whatever. Yeah. So we got some fries. That's two biscuits. So there's two of us, so we got two biscuits. So they hooked us up, which is great. I'm all ecstatic about that. Mmm. All right. Let's go ahead and divide this stuff up, Dave. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Get me a biscuit. So, and we're doing this ghetto style, guys. Yep, we're gonna take it. So we're gonna get this real, real, real close so you can see it. So it looked like it's what chives they got on it. Mmm. So you can see it, and then they threw the sauce on there. We got extra sauce, so you can see it. It's nice, crispy. All right, so we got warm. two. We got two different kinds here, guys. We got the sweet heat sauce, and we got the voodoo sauce, done by Popeyes. All right, so I've never tried any one of these sauces before. Have you, Dave? Um, yeah, the sweet heat I've tried. I've never had it. Never had it. All thing I know about Popeyes is barbecue sauce. That's it. Go ahead, dig in. Oh, yeah, man. Let's get some of this. Get you some. Mm. See, but that's the only thing. You see? They didn't put it in the center to get all of them. Like, one piece got, like, right. a ton. You're right. You're right. So they didn't really, I guess, whoever did it would just, You're like, right. throw it on there. So it's not consistent, guys. So, I mean, this is what he's talking about. You got the little, I guess, the chives and everything right here. It's not consistent all the way around. It yeah. only goes to a certain part of the whole chicken and the top part. So it's like they just took the stuff and said, like, yeah, whatever was on top. Because see, look, this one is missing everything. It's just basically Naked. a tender. It's just a regular tender. That's it. So I just got two more pieces. So I'll take one. So what I would suggest to you guys is make sure you get extra voodoo sauce. So ask them for extra sauce because if they don't give you any, you're pretty much going to be eating a dry piece of tender. Yeah. Okay. So, you want all right, so fries up? yeah, man. I mean, it is what it is. I can eat them out the box. It's all good. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up these little sauces. I've never had either one of these before. All right, so sweet heat sauce. Sweet heat sauce. Mm. All right. So it's all right. In. Woo! So let's see. And I'm not a spicy food person, but I do. I can tolerate it. Let me eat the strip first before I even try the sauce. So I, so I can eat that. So this, hmm, I don't know how to describe it. It's not hot. Mm -mm. It's like a tangy flavor of a yeah. sauce. I didn't use any sauce yet. Let me try this part. Honestly, <clears throat> it tastes like a regular chicken strip. Honestly, and that's all I ever get from there. I either get the shrimp, I get the chicken strips, or I get like chicken sometimes. But don't, nine times out of ten, if I go to Popeyes, I'm getting like the, the strips. This tastes like a, a regular strip with a little bit of a little tang, a little bit of kick to it. So yeah, you definitely do need to get the sauce. I'm trying to think like you know when you go to Chinese food, it's almost like a sweet and You're sour. You're right. It's like a sweet and You're sour. Right. You're right. And they You're just right. named it voodoo. You're right. It's not really hot. Mm -mm. So if you're worried about it being hot. It's on a scale of what one to five being hot. It's like one and a half. It's not hot. You're right. The sauce is hot though. I put I dip it in. That's hot. It's not terrible though, guys. But it's not what the hype is. I, I watched a couple videos before, and these guys are like, "Hmm." That's normally mm. what it is. The videos they just hype you up mm -hmm. and tell you, "Oh, all this stuff." Mm -hmm. When you taste it, like I said, it's just like they had the sauce and they threw tenders on. They threw yeah. the sauce on the tenders. It's That's plain. It. It's the same thing. There's nothing special about it. It's the same stuff. Like, wow. But yeah, you definitely need to get the sauce. Sweet Heat, I would probably recommend that one. I like that one. Sweet Heat's pretty good. Yeah, it's one of my favorite sauces. Mm-hmm. 
That's more harder, I think, than the it is voodoo. Yeah, the voodoo sauce is good though, but the sweet pea, I think, right now. But if I were to go ahead and recommend these, like as far as like a one to five, I'm gonna give these strips a three. I'm I, I'm really I'm really lenient on my scores here, but it's just a regular it's a regular strip, guys. It's regular. Yeah, but the sweet heat sauce. If you put it in sweet heat sauce, it's really gonna be much more harder. Mm hmm. Much more. Mm hmm. Yeah, sweet heat's better. Period. Period. Well, Popeye's got the best tender, so they do. They do. Their tenders are really good, so mm -hmm. whatever they do to it, we're gonna just buy it and try it out. We got the biscuit of delight over here, guys. It's talking to me, man. What is it saying to me? <clears throat> Mike, are you really gonna eat me? Sure, you're right. Throw a couple of fries inside this mouth over here before I put yeah, it in my mouth. Yeah, these biscuits are dangerous. You do need some water. You do. If you eat these biscuits dry, they will get you. Oh, speak, speaking of Popeye's biscuits, man. I picked this up at the store, guys. Got the Popeye's buttermilk baking mix. So if you want to make those Popeye's biscuits at home, you can do it. Now, does it taste the same? I have no idea, guys. It depends on you. But that's pretty much what you got inside. You got... Go ahead and read that. Yeah, it zooms in a little bit. That's pretty much it. Popeye's buttermilk baking mix. All right. Yeah, buddy. This ain't bad, though. No, not bad at all. It's not terrible. <clears throat> if I'm not talking, it's because this is really good. <laughs> if I'm talking a lot, then you know that. Yeah. But, yeah, Popeye's, you can't go wrong with this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey, give me that Burger King, man. <laughs> But definitely in the comments below, guys, let us know what you want us to eat next. Yep. Mm. Anything new, leave it in the comments, and we definitely would check it out. But like I said, whatever is in our area, because we're in Florida, some restaurants aren't here. Like, we don't have a Rallies, we have a Checkers, um, we don't have a Whataburger. Oh, man, I wish we did, boy. Mm. So we're missing a couple stuff out here. Well, all around good, man. I'll drive 10 hours to go to Whataburger. Are you serious? Really? Mm-hmm. So we're gonna do one day, guys. We're gonna do a road trip. We're gonna do road trips. We may come to your town and eat. Might come to your house and eat. Who knows? It's cost we'll eat, so it's endless possibilities. Yep. Mm-hmm. What do you think Papa's gonna think of next? Well, first of all, they need to bring that chicken sandwich back. Period. I didn't get a chance to get it. You taste it yet? Nope. I went in line a couple times, <clears throat> made some phone calls. They had them. You get there, they don't have them, so they try to lie to you. But, you know, that's like a good thing they got going right now, guys. Yeah, that's you know? the best thing they got. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with the whole war between them and Chick-fil-A and then um, Wendy's, I'm telling you, Wendy's, if you guys haven't seen the Wendy's um, chicken sandwich video we made with the strips, man. We're going to go ahead and put that link up there for you guys so you guys can check that one out as Definitely. well. Definitely. That is really, that was mm -hmm. one of the first like, chicken sandwiches I tried. Mm -hmm. That's yep. really good. And They're then, like the best um, Popeyes, not Popeyes, but um, Chick fil A. Mm -hmm. It's like the second running. Mm -hmm. It's Can't good. Go because whenever you do those little, um, the fundraisers and stuff like that, they go to Chick fil A and get those, those um, chicken strips from them. And it's fantastic. Fantastic. Mm. It's so full, yo. It will. I think it would. No. But it's, I thought it was going to have a little small size. Good sizes they give you in there. Look mm -hmm. at this. They don't play around. But the piece of that is really decent. Some places you go to, you get they just give you like a little piece and it's like, what is this? Mm -hmm. Popeyes True. doesn't play. Popeyes True. give you what you pay for. I had that before. I've never really had to turn around and say, hey, you guys give me crap. Mm -hmm. Never. And that customer service is amazing. Now, if I were to go to customer service, ranking all the restaurants, Chick-fil-A, top of the line, guys. I don't care what you guys see on the internet, Chick-fil-A got the best customer service. Yeah. I think one time something happened to a customer, like, and the customer went and got it. It felt like a phone fell down the sewer, and the customer 
-hmm. or not a customer, but the person that works at Chick Fil A went in there and picked out the phone for the customer with a smile on their face. What? Popeyes is not not Popeyes. Chick Fil A don't play. What? So Chick Fil A is top of the line. They're I'm, like, I'm you sorry, can't, you can't. Nobody could beat them. I'm sorry, you lose your phone in the sewer. It's gonna be there. I'm sorry. I would not myself personally. I wouldn't get it. I'll buy you one. I'm not gonna go get you one though. Pour that down in the sewer. Like I wonder what they go through in their train. I don't know, but I think it's rigorous. I don't think it's like one of those things you just go in the go in the store and they just put you behind the register or whatever. I think you have to go to like about a month training or something. You have to. Yeah, they don't play that. And the thing about it though, someone that has you that's someone that used to work at Chick Fil A, you can tell someone that's used to work at Chick Fil A because mm -hmm. you go to another restaurant, they always say my pleasure. No other restaurant says my pleasure whenever you say thank you. Yeah. My pleasure. No one. No one. So you know someone that used to work at Chick Fil A. Yep. Every time you hear my pleasure. It's just a habit, man. They got that built. It's like a military trainer, man. This stuff's built into you. Uh, I got sauce for me. Oh, so good. Your buddy in his shirt wanted it. Yeah, sure. Side of his mouth. Like, Give me some. Sorry. Your, your buddy wanted some, man. But yeah, finger looking good. Mm hmm. Definitely. Not bad. So, how much you rate these? Well, the strips, like I said, I'm going to give them a three. Mm hmm. Three out of five. Okay. Because, like I said, it's the same thing I've been getting all these years anyway. There's nothing special about this. Instead, they got some green stuff, a little bit of sauce that doesn't have anything to it. It's the same thing. Yeah, Cre creativity. They could have done a little bit better. But if you guys missed what it looks but like, it's really good. if you look at the, you zoom in the beginning of the video, guys, where we show you guys what it looked like on the picture, it looks nothing like that. Nothing. Yeah. It's always like that. Mm hmm. What they show you in the beginning is always. Top of the line. Mm -hmm. They got the artists that come in. They make it look like, like you, if you even if you full, you still look at it a bit. That looks good. And I'm actually getting kind of full from this. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I didn't think so, but mm -hmm. it's good. Yep. And the fries can't eat. Oh my fries. god, they're good when they're cold. They are. You can put them in the oven, but they don't really taste good if you put them in the oven the next the next day. Yeah, just get them cold. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Could be better. But like I said, you can never go wrong with the fries. Never. Never. The only other fries is better as what? Um, checkers. Checkers fries, if, they, if you get them at the right time, they're good. But if you get them like some random times throughout the day, you no, know, the best time to get checkers fries, nighttime. That's the best time to go. But yeah, I would say, no, honestly, no, Chick fil A, man. Waffle fries. Oh, man. Huh. You just got to go in there and say, hey, I want some uh, fries with no salt. <clears throat> They'll make them for you fresh, and you get you some salt in your bag. So, as you can see, guys, now I'm going to drink the water. So, it wasn't that hot that was overwhelming that I was like, ah. I thought it was going to be much more hotter. Nah. So, pretty good. I'm going to hold the if I do. Real good. Yep, yeah, definitely in the comments below, guys. Definitely want to hear from you guys. Definitely look forward to hearing from you guys. Like all your feedback. So let me know what you guys think about the Voodoo chicken strips. Have you tried them? You know, a friend that tried them. What are you? What are your thoughts? What is? What is everybody saying about these chicken strips? Because I know what I think already, but I want to hear from you guys as well. Let, let us know and definitely drop a like on the video, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. We're trying to build the channel for you guys. We're gonna have a lot of fun. That's what we try to do. Me and David getting together. We always have fun. Yeah, always. So. It's nice that we can finally eat and record it. We eat a lot of food, man. Mm -hmm. we That's why we could have done this a long time yeah. ago. But we didn't. I know this dude like six years or so. No yep. more. I don't know. It's about six years. We used to, like, we first met. We were always, where we used to work at, we always yeah. eat food. Always. Go watch the game and we'd be at the restaurant eating. Mm -hmm. We go to the sports bars. Oof. Yep. So, like I said, this is really good. It's still good. Um, So, I'll take it. Nothing I would like, you know, kill myself to get. You know what I'm saying? Every Friday, like, oh, mm -hmm. let me go get some to eat. No. I could still get the regular and then just eat it with sauce. So. Mm -hmm. yep. It's good, but it's all right. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Peace.